hope you're having a wonderful day. Man, it's a beautiful day here in the Ozarks. The sun's shining and it's just so pretty out. Um, it makes you want to get out and walk or do something and enjoy the outdoors. But uh, I just want to encourage you today. Um, I was visiting with a friend yesterday, a very prophetic person, not a pathetic person, a very prophetic person, you know, and um, they're experiencing some um, lack of of um, interest from the church body, you know, at, at, at words that they're given and uh, things that, that God is telling them. And I just want to encourage you, if you're prophetic and you're hearing dreams and visions from the Lord, write those down. They are important. Um, pass them to your pastor. Hopefully, he will have the good grace to, to read them and pray over them and then share them with the congregation. And, uh, you know, um, you can't silence the prophets. We need them. We need y'all. We need the prophetic dreams. We need the prophetic input. We need to... To have uh, the eyes of an eagle uh, viewing from above, guiding our steps. The Lord wants you to be able to, to, to spread your wings and take off and just fly higher when things get bad. And, you know, things look like they may get bad. Um, there may be trouble on hand. And if, if, if we trust in the Lord and we lean on the Lord, then we need to also listen to his children. We need to listen to those who are crawling up on his lap and listening to his heartbeat and they relay a message from the Lord uh, what the Lord is telling them and you know it, it, it's such a valuable thing to the body of Christ it's such a valuable thing to our own churches to our local church is to listen to those that God is talking to um, not one person gets it all we we share in this we're a family and so all the pieces come together confirmation comes together on those words and by those words you can judge that they're from the Lord and you whether you or not you should listen to them and um, take heed to what they're saying but you judge those words you don't just ignore those words so let me encourage you um, if you have friends that are that function in the prophetic realm Pay attention to what they're telling you. Uh, write them down. If they don't write them down for you, you write them down. And keep those things. Put them on a shelf if you're not sure about them. And in time, they will either come to pass or they will they will fall aside. And that's how we judge these things. We need to up our discernment level in this hour. We need to be able to judge what is God and what is not God. We need to be able to judge whether this is a far-fetched uh, thing we're hearing or is it something that heaven is warning us about? And you know, so just uh, try to increase your discernment. Ask God to increase your discernment, and he will. Ask him to teach you how to tell right from wrong, how to tell what is him and what is not him. And uh, you know, don't be so religious, so religious and bullheaded that you can't be taught. You always need to be able to learn. I'm still learning. Um, I don't know anyone that has learned all of it. You you learn these things as you process down your uh, the path the Lord has for you. And it is very important that we treasure the prophetic people that God puts in our lives and thank God for them. Listen to them. Pray over the words they give you. If they are, if they are always giving you false words, then you know you you've got every right to not listen the next time. But you owe that to that person and to the Lord to, to discern and to judge on whether a word is from him or not. And take heed and listen to things. And let me encourage you. God's got so much more for us than we've experienced. And it is coming. I can hear the rumbling. I can feel it in the mulberry bushes. It's just like it's shaking and Holy Ghost is showing up. Um, it's a time of a new a new um a refreshing in the lord and a habitation of the lord and you know he's not wanting visitation he wants habitation he wants to come and live with you 24 7 seven days a week and so you know there's some adjustments you got to make on that when you're entertaining holy spirit 24 7 you can't do some of the things you used to do you can't um gossip and carry on like you used to you can't do things that uh that makes him uncomfortable he will leave he will fly away he will not stay on your shoulder 
Walk with that dove of the Holy Spirit. Treasure it. Treasure his presence. And you guys have a good day, a blessed day, an awesome day. And um, I just want to tell you, things are rocking here in Branson. God's on the move. The prayer groups, man, I tell you, the intensification of God's presence in those places. It is so addictive. I tell you what, if you have a problem with not getting close enough to God, get in some of those prayer meetings. God will bring you in closer than you've ever dreamed possible. You will hear things and do things you never dreamed. He's got so much more for us. And we're, you know, don't want to be content sitting on our pew. We want to be rolling and growing in God. Amen. You have a blessed day.